I know you really just want to like load up a 249 and just a belt fed and just fire away at the immigrants down there, but that's just not going to solve the issue and it's just not going to solve the border crisis. Given the opportunity to support a border aid, Donald Trump literally called Republican senators and House to tell them not to vote for the bill as it was passing through. He did that from the outskirts for political gains. He has no interest in the U.S. southern border. So Kamala first, Harris and Joe Biden had a plan when when uh, when that does get sent back through, back through the House and the Senate, uh, Kamala Harris already said that she would be willing to sign it. Both Joe Biden and Kamala Harris with the Republican-led House with a bill that was led by a Republican with Senator James Langford and Donald Trump said, nope. The country can handle it. All that fentanyl that's coming in, all those deaths and Americans and the Haitians and the dogs and the cats in Ohio and all that bullshit can handle it. And because I need to be the supreme commander of the United States of America, I need to be the one that issues these orders. So that just tells me that they don't really care at all. They're just going to use it for political talking points when ready and available. But I told you two instances that okay, Kamala Harris. I'll respond. I'll respond. I'm not. To that. I'm not. I'm not. Hold, hold, it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're welcome. Hold uh, you're welcome to have me as a guest on your show, and you could talk as much as you want. Uh, but I, I, I will respond That's to the point there. Very effective at regurgitating the NPC talking points that you've been given yeah. by the Democrats to repeat over and over. So here's the narrative that you're pushing. In 2020, we were told by Biden Harris the border is secure. In 2021, we were told by Harris Biden the border is secure. In 2022, we were told by Harris Biden the border is secure. In 2020 we were told by Harris Biden the border is secure. Now it's an election year, and so they have to pretend to care because their internal polling shows, whoops, even people that are traditionally Democrat think there's a huge problem at the border. So now they have to pretend to care. So they're like, ah, well, what about this border bill? The border bill is a disaster. First uh, off, the Republicans that are connected, it's not really about Republican versus Democrat. It's about establishment versus people that are seen as outside the that's establishment. Cool. That's, cool. that's fine. That's you could cool. say that's scope. The Republicans clearly didn't care about the border before Donald Trump, as is evidenced by the fact that many Republicans Republican strategist told Trump in 2016 that such a focus on the border was a losing issue. The truth is mm, they like they the fact listened. that they're, please, it's not that Trump won in 2016. You remember, it wasn't a losing issue. And most Americans, even in the debate last night, most Americans think that they would support even things like mass deportations, let alone a stronger border wall or border security. So it is a winning issue to talk about border security. And so what happened is Republicans don't really want to talk about it. They pushed forth a bill that was terrible. This bill would have let in like 5,000 and illegals a day. It would have allowed exceptions from the very Biden administration, such as Mayorkas, that had showed a proclivity to allow these people in whatsoever. It funded the very NGOs that are facilitating these people coming in. It would have enshrined this in law, even if Trump won. So he would have had difficulty rescinding this law and having a congressional law passed to have an actual stronger border. It didn't provide any funding for a border wall that would come immediately. All of these things were terrible about this bill. And the idea that Trump should have supported this or Republicans should have supported this that would have allowed the Democrats to have these loopholes and enshrine this in law. So for the next two years, they could say, just like the moderators tried to spin, well, it's legal. It's legal that these people are coming in. Republicans voted for it. It's legal. So now you just have to accept these hundreds of thousands that come in a year because you voted for it, which is the exact argument they would have made and said that they couldn't rescind it. I'm supposed to believe that somehow the Democrats that told us for four years that the border was secure and did nothing until it was an election year and then wanted a bill that funded the very NGOs that allowed this illegal immigration and facilitate it that would have enshrined this in law. Oh, but they really care about the border. Bullshit. Why didn't they talk about the border? Why did they say that it was secure in 2021, 2022, 2023, when they had control of the House and the Senate and the presidency? Why didn't they solve the border crisis? If it was so important to them, why instead were they rescinding Trump's executive orders, which led to the worst border crisis in modern history and telling us all the while, actually, the border secure? Why did they do that if they really because care it, about because, the border? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the United States is not a dictatorship and things need to be done through the Congress. They controlled Congress and the Senate. Congress. Uh, who who control the Congress and the Democrats? Senate? We control the House. Didn't you in twenty twenty? Am I wrong about this? Who was president? Biden twenty twenty one, right? That election, the, the twenty twenty election. The, the House went to and Biden continued the border wall. Biden continued funding the border wall. He continued border wall in Arizona and Texas. Have you been to the border wall? No, I haven't. Have you? Okay, yeah, I have. Wow. I've been so, on my YouTube oh, so, channel. so he continued. Giant... How many miles of the border wall was built by Biden Harris? Uh, I don't have that number You've on me right there. now. You've been there. Give me a ballpark figure. Uh, I don't. I don't have the exact. You're looking it up, so you tell me. 
I'm not looking it up. I'm asking you. You're the one who's speaking as an expert. You've been there. You said that Biden built the border wall. I'm asking you how much. Uh, I'm saying Biden continued Trump's border wall. He continued it in October of 2021 into November. And he actually still Trump, uh, So what, what occurred was, as you know, as was again referenced in the debate last night, which Vance could have done a slightly better job on this, we were told by Democrats that border walls were ineffective and racist. And so when Trump wanted to spend some money on creating a border wall to have a secure border, they had one of the longest government shutdowns in history to stop him from doing it. Now hey, they if border walls Trump, work, if the, border walls worked, if they, border they, walls truly worked, are, why did why was immigration moving up or why were border crossings going up before Donald Trump even left office? Why when he showed his famous graph mm -hmm. in his uh, in his speech and also that MAGA Republicans showed in the Congress showing immigration numbers rising, why was it going up while Donald Trump was president? Like why didn't the borders why why did Mexico not pay for the border? Why is the border wall not finished under Trump when he had control of it? All right, bunch of interesting questions. One, the reason that the border wall wasn't finished under Trump was he tried to have a bill that Democrats had the largest government shutdown because they said that walls were racist, walls that they're now advocating for. So you or Kamala right. Harris haven't oh. answered for why the wall under Donald Trump was racist, but now that they want a wall that it's not racist. You haven't answered why, if it was ineffective when Donald Trump wanted it, why now Kamala Harris is supporting it. Second, he's not a dictator, so he wasn't able to just say, screw it, I'm going to build a wall on my own because the Democrats had a shutdown. He was unable to get accomplished everything he wanted. Third, it is true that there was times that because his numbers of illegal immigration and border crossings were so low at one point, it did naturally go up at some points. Ben, there were many reasons why that could have occurred, but it wasn't because because walls don't work. It was because there was illegal immigration coming that was facilitated by organizations that our establishment and the Democrats want, like NGOs. That's, and that's you, just nonsense. You don't think that's NGOs are facilitating the illegal crime? No. That's not true. No. The evidence shows that's, that that's quite literally what's going on. Nonetheless, the idea which that evidence? we have to say, because there are ebbs and flows under a four-year period, and sometimes it went up, like in 2019. By the way, it went down in 2020 then, correct? No, it was on the rise while Donald Trump so was. The argument is, so the argument is when he left in 2020, that was the highest point that had been under the Biden That's the not, Trump administration. Is that what I said? Is that what is you that said? You said it was going up when he went out. It was already starting to, like, if you read a graph, you know how graphs work? I do. Okay. So it was already starting to trend upward while Donald Trump was still president. Like, it was already increasing to the levels where it's getting to. Like, it was already on an upward trajectory while Donald Trump was still in office. And he points to the point on the graph... Uh, after he was out of office as if it's uh, or he pointed to a point on the graph while he was still in office and tried to sell it as if this is happening while he was uh, out of office and president and it's just not the case but the problem at the border is not going to be fixed with a, a wall it's not going to be fixed with security it's not going to be fixed with the national guard or whatever even though the national guard are down there and when, whenever it's raining by the way the national they don't to care like there's no crossings when it's raining okay so just it. so just um, to, just so to anyways, illustrate the point that you're trying to make it, so here's the border crossings under donald trump 2016 331,000 2017 drops to 311,000 2018 drops to 304,000 2019 goes up to 396,000 2020 at the end of the year we had around 350,000 which was precipitously lower than it was in 2019 so the argument is that it went like this was trending down then went up in 2019 and as i said then went back down in 20 2020. Those numbers were exacerbated hugely under Biden. The argument is that you're trying, and we know that there was, because they couldn't get the policies that he wanted passed through Congress, because Democrats led the largest shutdown, because they wanted these open borders, as they all tantamountly no admitted, open they no did. Open. Uh, on that debate stage in 2020, all of them said it shouldn't be a criminal offense for people to come. They all said that they wanted to give benefits to these people. All of them said it's a humanitarian crisis. None of them said of any measures that they would put to stop these people that are coming as long as they claimed asylum. So it was tantamount to open borders. They signaled to the rest of the world that if you come here, we will treat, give you all of these benefits, we'll allow you in. And predictably, that's exactly what happened. On top of that, there were 90 something executive orders that Joe Biden bragged about, which Kamala Harris was there and bragged about as well, almost immediately rescinding, which predictably led to a border crisis, which we could see occurring in real time. They told us over and over there wasn't a border crisis, that the border was secure. They told us that in 2021. They told us that in 2022. They told us that in 2023. And then when they saw that it was an election year issue, they said, oh, now we have to try to keep our phony baloney jobs and pretend that we care about this issue. That's exactly what occurred. It is I think undeniable. It's a projection. It is, it I think is it's an absolute projection. projection. Yeah, what it is what were they doing when, in 2022 when they had control of the House and the what, Senate? What was the Republicans doing when they had bipartisan support and they could have fixed the issue? They didn't. They I, already least... ex I, already ex I already explained to you how no, the bill was that actually bill was an authoritarian. No, what, that bill was such an authoritarian bad. You're, like, you're the projection of the bill that you're talking about with uh, the Kamala Harris supporter that James Langford led is a good bill. No, the one so you're talking about with Donald Trump and the you House Republican HR2 is You haven't disputed is anything. You haven't it's an abs... I am disputing it right now. Can you, if you let me, if you let me speak, okay. I will dispute it. It was good. That's what right you said so far. I'm really, it was good. I am actively disputing what you just said okay. right now. 
Okay. It was anyways, good. H- anyways, HR2 is not a good bill. It was an authoritarian bill that was not going to actually address the systemic problems at the U.S. southern border with asylum claims because they are backlogging the system. Okay. This would have added, this would have added judges. This would have added more border agents. This would have added more resources. This would have added more security measures at the U.S. southern border to identify any threats that were crossing the southern border into the United States. And Donald Trump and the Republicans said, nope. With all these measures and a bipartisan support that Republicans still could have claimed, they could have claimed a victory, a strategic victory under a Democrat president. Everything you're claiming about Democrats back in 20, under, under uh, uh, when Trump was president, you have Biden is the president and he's a Democrat and he would have signed a Republican led legislature for the U.S. southern border. And Donald Trump decided, nope, because I need to win an election. And this is the only issue that I have. But you're not actually going to address any of the concerns. You just want to have fear and carnage, send a high Mars system down there, send an M one abram systems down there you know what? i was in a debate with another maga and he said we need to have a battalion of marines down there if you decided how many i'm gonna ask a question how many battalions of marines would it take to uh to secure the u.s southern border what do you think i don't know you have no you don't know nope well, that's a better answer than the last one okay I got. cool I take so, that one. so now notice what he did here was he completely ignored everything i said he said no i didn't it was good yeah, this is what he did so this is i directly he, talked about he hr2 didn't say anything. The Republican so bill. what he did was he talked about hr2 and just said it was authoritarianism hr2 was a bill that actually had teeth that would have not allowed thousands of people in a day that came here wrong. that's why he doesn't like wrong, I, it, wrong. so it would have wrong it would have wrong it would have. Go ahead. You think you think that bill would have stopped people from crossing the border? What do you, I think right, it so didn't enshrine this. that legally we had to accept in five thousand something a day before it went into effect. Correct. That's not. It's a. It's still a humanitarian issue. People are crossing uh, for see, asylum. Like it's still going to be a go. problem. And now it comes. Like, sorry, okay, you, sorry. I'm not going to take. The, sorry, he Rob. The point. Sorry, he Rob. The point. I'm not going to take he, the position of. I'm not going to take the position of the military firing away at at immigrants no crossing the border. I'm just not no going to take. Said, the, no one said the military okay. should fire. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Going back to the debate. Going back to the debate from last night. Going back to the debate from last night. So when JD Vance, when JD Vance, when JD Vance says, "I'm going to empower the U.S. southern border," what does that mean? We'll just. Okay. When JD Vance so says I'm, I'm going to empower the agents of the U.S. Of the- last right. chance, I'll leave you. I'll, I'll leave you. Sort of self. Allow me to address this, or you can keep trying to talk over me. It's your choice. Right now, notice what he did. Now he gives the game away here. Actually, it's a humanitarian crisis. We do have to leave these people in. You see, and that's exactly what this bill was that they were pushing for. That's not what I said. That, that that's is not what, what you I said. said. No, Again, it's not. I'm just going to talk. You can continue to say this. I know you're said. good people at it. You're very good at doing it. I know you're not very good, ironically. But uh, people can judge for themselves what you said. So here's well, it's your show, happened. of course, because so, you're just going to talk right, over me. and You're just going to claim it's your show. I mean, that's what you're doing right now. You're trying to talk over me. So nonetheless, what else? was You can do it comes to H two, when we talk about the bill H two or the HR two bill, you can see when it actually had more teeth. He's like, but I don't like that. I don't like the teeth. It's humanitarian crisis. We have to leave certain people in. That's what the bill was doing that was pushed. It had all of these loopholes. Notice he didn't address any of them. He didn't address the fact that it let in 5,000 something people a day. He didn't address the fact that it had loopholes that people like my orcas that clearly wasn't enforcing the border. As the Border Patrol Union had said, it gave uh, that Border they Patrol blamed Union. specifically Biden, right, and say that he's been an abysmal failure and it basically allowed these failures to occur. He doesn't address any of that. He doesn't address the funding to the NGOs. He doesn't address the fact that this would have enshrined it in law which meant if Republicans took over, they would have difficulty rescinding. He doesn't address any of that. Instead, he just goes back to talking the same old dog. He says it would have sent a bunch of money for judges and things like that. Well, the problem's not money. The problem is that these Border Patrol agents, of course, they're going to say, sure, we'll take more money. And maybe they They could use more money. Please. But it's also the fact that they don't, they have an administration currently that's Is this a debate? Are you like, are you just talking? I'm I'm, I'm going to talk to my heart's content on my show. I gave you a large chunk of time to talk there. It's a, I don't know. Is it a debate? You called I'm it and disagreed you. with me, right? I'm disagreeing with your position right now. So it, it's taking a format of sort of a debate because you're issuing a position that I'm rebutting, right? That's what I'm doing. So you could say, are we calling this a debate? I would say asking that question seems to suggest that you're trying to derail the point I'm making because already I've said it twice and you've not addressed it. Now, talking specifically then about this bill, he didn't address any of those things that I said that this bill did because all he's capable of doing is repeating the talking points that he's heard. But it was bipartisan. Langford said, right, and it was still a terrible bill. It would have been enshrined in law. You Those can are your see, opinions. You can see. Those are your opinions. 
you can see from the way that he talks that actually he, just like the Democrats, want to allow these people. We have to be humanitarian. We have to allow them in, right? And so that's sort of the rhetoric that they're going with anyways. Notice that he didn't address once. He hasn't even attempted to address. Am I like your showpiece? They're like, he what are you doing? I'm, I'm right here. Like, yes. I'm talking. Like, I can talk and present my own opinions. I'm not that's a showpiece. That's fine. You I'm can. Like, you get a chance I'm not to like talk. not like your you trophy. Can. You can. That's fine. I, I, certainly, I don't need you as a trophy. You could have the chance uh, that's, to address. But that's, what, that's how you present it. Got... You could have the chance. And I'll be sure to interrupt you as present you're... as you're interrupting me. I'm, I'm ready for it. Now, notice how he hasn't addressed whatsoever. Would you prefer if I say this? Notice how you haven't addressed whatsoever the fact that the Biden administration told us the border was secure in 2021, 2022, 2023, that they controlled the House and the Senate through 2021 and 2022, and they didn't do anything to secure the border. In fact, they seemed pretty pleased in telling us that everything was going swimmingly, that these people were coming in, flooding in. They, notice he hasn't addressed that. What he wants you to believe is that they were diligently working on securing the border and thought it was a problem. When we saw these record numbers coming in in 2021, 2022, 2023, they were diligently working on it, even though they were telling us and virtue signaling to all of us, actually, the border's secure. Actually, things are going quite well. And then it just so happened in 2024, they finally came to the, oh, you know what? Here's this bill that we support. He hasn't answered the fact that we saw that the, the numbers. Because I fundamentally, you because can't I fundamentally lie about disagree the data. with you. you can't I lie fundamentally about the data. disagree with you. you can't I fundamentally about, disagree with you on this. Like you uh, have okay, your position uh, and I have a different you. position and okay. you're trying to sell your MAGA audience, uh, your so take, but I'm here trying to. Okay, we'll just mute you here for a second. So then we'll give you a chance to speak when I'm done. Notice how he hasn't addressed that. Now, what you can't lie about is the data. You can't. We see that one of the first things that Biden did when he came in office was bragged about the 90-something executive orders of Trump's that he rescinded. And we see that that immediately led to a gratuitous spike in the amount of illegals that were coming. It's because they wanted them to come. They bragged about it. They thought it was a PR victory to say, oh, we're treating them more humanely. We got rid of these. And predictably, the data doesn't lie. He has no answers for any of that. He's going to the old Democratic talking point. Oh, trust us. We always cared about the border. But mean old Trump didn't like this border bill, so all of the blame falls on him. Okay, you can respond now. Um, so I can your authoritarian ban hammer for uh, muting me there. Are you banned? So number one, we talk about you talk. I don't know, whatever, muted. So you talk about Democrat. Is this a debate? You even, is this a debate? Even, this is fun. So is it a debate? You, is it a debate? Yeah, 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 it's a debate. So anyway, so you am I your trophy? Am I your trophy? Is that what this is? I'm your trophy. I wasn't going to actually address. Am I your trophy? Am I your trophy? Is that what it is? Am I your trophy? Am I your trophy? Like that's all this is. Is this a debate? Is this a debate? Go ahead. I'll leave you talk now. It's annoying. Langford. It was a very, very good bill, and it was worked on by both sides, which is very important to do in a bipartisan Congress. And you try to pass bills for the American people that is bipartisan, and when given the opportunity to pass something that both party supported and people from both sides supported the republican party and donald trump said nope that's good we don't need any of that it is a humanitarian issue regardless of whatever the cope you're talking about i know you really just want to like load up a 249 and just a belt fed and just fire away at the immigrants down there but that's just not going to solve the issue and it's just not going to solve the border crisis the number one the number one source of immigrants coming into the united states is going to be from when they fly in and stay beyond their allowed visa that is actually the number one immigration stay inside of the united states it's not even the u.s southern border crossings i fundamentally disagree that the u.s southern border crossings are a very uh a very key strong issue with the united states i feel like that is a very focused MAGA republican talking point and even when addressing the issues of the asylum and the backlog asylum that does need to be fixed I, I agree with you I agree that there is issues that need to be handled down there but I guess when it comes to actually taking care of the problem and legislating and bringing it to the Congress to do so you would rather fall onto talking points and narratives and then push it back into propaganda and not even handle the problem when given or not even handle the issue when when presented and I think Tim Walls did a good job of that in the debate yesterday talking about demonizing the problem instead of solving it. And that is a very common MAGA Republican uh, tactic when dealing with any type of issue or anything in the news space these days. You're just going to demonize it, complain about it, and then not actually want to figure it out or solve it. You're just going to make it up, just like J.D. Vance says, just going to make up some stories, and hopefully that's what people will go with. So, I mean, you've done a lot of rambling and a lot of, a lot of Republican talking points, and I was just going to share that my background isn't Democrat. Like, I am not a Democrat. I come from MAGA. I voted for Trump in 2016. I volunteered for uh, John McCain's campaign in 2008. I mail-in voted for Mitt Romney when I was deployed overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. So I've been very much a Republican, like, my whole life, up until 2020 when I I decided to vote Green Party because I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go for both of these parties. Like, I'm going to vote for someone else now. So I went Green Party. But then now, because of how cooked 
the right wing is and how cooked MAGA is and how cooked libertarians are simping for Vladimir Putin and wanting to be Putin fluffers. There's just no chance for me to go for any other political party other than the Democratic Party, who at least want to keep the fundamental or the, 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 the foundations of the United States together by upholding the Constitution, which MAGA and the Republicans have absolutely zero interest in doing. So you notice that there's a lot of sophistry here. When we're talking about the specifics of the bill that he wanted to talk about, notice how he hasn't addressed any of the specifics again. He just says these buzzwords. It was bipartisan. Oh, by the way, I'm not bipartisan a Democrat. Bipartisan is a buzzword? Hold I'm on, hold not on. A bipartisan Democrat. is a buzzword? I'm, I'll finish my point. It was bipartisan. So don't all the specific objections you made to it. No, 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 it was bipartisan. It's all good. Uh, when it comes to, oh, I'm not really a Democrat. I just have no choice because of my, none of this addresses the point that he wanted to make specifically about the border. Notice he, again, completely failed to address for about the fourth time the fact that the Biden-Harris administration rescinded all these executive orders. I, I, no, no, I did address that, it. You're lying. You're lying. You did not address it. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying to your audience right now. I did address it. How'd you address, address, address it? it? Go ahead. You have 10 seconds to tell me how you addressed it. Okay, I fundamentally disagree with your entire position on the border. I do not view it as an issue within the United States as a as an invasion. I do not view it as a as an issue in okay, the way that you not view. address that's not addressing so he that is directly address, addressing it. That, that is, is not actually addressing, directly that's not addressing him saying I don't think it's a big that problem. That is a directly addressing that is not it, addressing it. Him saying I don't think it's a problem isn't the same as me saying the Biden team told us that there wasn't a crisis at the border. They said it was good. Now they're saying it is a crisis at the border. So why didn't they talk about it in 2021, 2022, 2023 when we saw these record numbers? What were the policies that they were advocating to solve it when they had both the House and the Senate. What did they do? They did nothing. They waited until it was an election. They did year. never had the they House saw, and the Senate. Please. You're making that they, up. They, Again. That's your claim? When did the when did so the Democrats had the House and the Senate? We've had all three. All three? One second. Yeah, you could be right. Let me check. I know I'm right. It's been a Republican House the entire time. I know I'm right. They, they, they're the ones fighting back at it this entire time. <laughs> Under Trump, they had they had a Democrat Senate, and they had a they had a uh, excuse me a Democrat House and a Republican Senate. Now it's inverted. Let's see, uh, Democratic Party. The Democratic Party had 220 members in the House. The Republicans had 212. That and I believe be in the Senate, the Democrats it was tied, if I'm not mistaken, and Kamala Harris was the tie-breaking vote as the VP. Correct. Are you referring to the independents? But it was 50 50 with the independents voting Democratic. So it was 50 50, and Kamala Harris became the tie breaking vote. So you're incorrect. The Democrats, with the tie breaking vote in the 50 50, controlled the Senate, and they had more members of the House from 2020 to 2022. And they had the presidency. Will you admit you were incorrect? From 2020 to 20, so two full years? Yes, correct. They had the House, oh, the even, Senate. Even while Trump, while Trump was president? No. The, the election yeah, that occurred 2020. in 2020 that would have so resulted. So that would be 2021. So they took the over election, in 2021. The, the election occurred in 2020. For two years, the first two years what, of the Biden what? presidency. You made the declarative claim. You said that I was wrong. I was willing to look it up and say <laughs> that I could be wrong. They did not start governing until 2021. Please. Okay. We they governed there? for two we full years. They governed for two full it years. The first two full years of the Biden-Harris administration. They had had a tie in the Senate with Harris had the tiebreaker and they controlled the House. Correct or not? Wrong. No. Okay. No. What was wrong about the, 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 the Trump was in office in 2020. All of okay. 2020. Let's say the whole year, the, the, the entire from 2021 year. 2021 to 2023. And you said four years too. No, I didn't. I said for two years, they had okay. the House, the Senate. Yeah, I, heard, I heard four. I heard well, four. That you were mistaken. You weren't listening because you were too busy talking sure. over me. So again, I've directed this three it's times. You had said they controlled the House. They controlled all three branches. of. Or, I'm sorry. They controlled the executive and the legislator. Why didn't they do anything on the border? Your answer is? They didn't do anything at the border? Like, right. What are you Why didn't they pass to? the so legislature? So what? HR two, why didn't they? Why didn't they patch? Why didn't they pass HR two? Is not, what you're I didn't say specifically HR two. Instead, okay, they told us there cool. wasn't a border crisis, right? That's what they that told was, us. They said it wasn't a border crisis. Instead, what you saw was Joe Biden rescinding executive orders. Wrong. Wrong. No. What no, did they do? The right way, Tell us what they did. Absolutely, the right wing was framing the border as some type of an invasion through right wing media. Okay, and you so disagree with the frame. You disagree with the framing. So what did they do? They created a drafted a bill led through James Langford to address the concerns and issues directly by right wing. That's 2024. Like in That's in 2024. What did they do in 2021, 2022? Uh, 
Last time I checked, they're presidents for four years, and they That's have correct. an office for four straight years. So whatever they do within the time frame is what they can accomplish. So you're going to say because so what it did wasn't they do? done in the first. Right. When they had control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, so that was their chance to pass forth bills that Biden would have been able to sign. What did they do? I'm tell- So they have four years to govern. They were trying what to get the bill What did they do for those through. first two years? They were trying to get that bill, the Langford bill, through in 2021? No, that's not what I'm saying. So what no, did they you're, do you're for those? What did they, if they thought that there was a problem at the border, what did they do? Who thought it was a problem at the border? Your well, right that's what the Biden the problem. At the border. Oh, so you're admitting you're admitting that the Harris Biden administration didn't think there was a problem at the border. Not in the same sense that's, as MAGA Republicans. And that's you know? exactly. So that's, that's, that's exactly why I think. So that's exactly that's what I told you. That's making. what I told so you. That's, and that's exa- what I told your audience. I fundamentally exactly disagree the, with this entire the, the, principle. So that's exactly. I fundamentally so disagree. I'll go back. So now after all that and the deflection saying, actually, they didn't control the House. That was incorrect. But I was willing to give. Look, all of us make mistakes. So I'm not holding you too much. But I was pretty sure that I was correct about that. So you can see this chart here when he talks about how things were going up. Things were going up to Trump. You see October 2020, December 2020. Now you see February 2021. When Biden comes in, you see that it starts to go up. It's surprising when they talk to a lot of these people that are illegally crossing they said biden will allow us here the democrats want us here then you see the crisis numbers that we saw all through the biden harris administration it's no surprise because they didn't treat it like a crisis as this caller is saying they rescinded executive orders they wanted these people to come in they didn't think it was a crisis they only are now talking about it in 2024 because they realize it's an election issue because people were concerned about it. so he doesn't have any answer he didn't answer he only says well the reason that biden harris didn't do anything when they had the House and the Senate and they had the executive branch was they didn't buy the framing that it was a crisis. Right. Which is another way of saying they did nothing. And then he just flounders and says, but but because we're not living in your in MAGA world. And also that's also, not like now again, I gave you plenty of time to talk after I was done messing with you for the interruptions you gave. You'll have a chance to speak again after this. Right. So, again, he again concedes that they didn't do anything. They didn't think it was a crisis. And you could see it just oozes from him. Oh, it needs to be humanitarian. And I don't buy your framing. And it wasn't this big deal. And blah, 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 oozes. Blah, blah. It, 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 again, if I have to mute you so I could get through my point because you can't continue yourself, I could do that. No problem. Anyways, you can see that it oozes from him that actually he was okay with these people coming in. That's the truth. 